Hello my crafty loving friends. Today we're going to make some rustic angel tree ornaments using these old clothespins that I have. They've been outside and they're weathered and I love the look of them so we're going to use them. So first thing we did or I did was take the metal pieces in the middle apart and then take the two backs and put them together. And I'm going to glue them all together. I don't even know how many I have here, but there's a bunch of them and I just plan on making a bunch of angels. And uh, I'll probably put a few sets of three each on Etsy and to, to sell. And there's a few that I'm gonna show you how I make right here. So this one I'm showing, I'm using some of my modeling clay that I have. It's uh, air dry modeling clay and I'm using my mold to um, make, a, it kind of looks like a snowflake. So that's why I used it. It's supposed to be a flower, which it looks like a flower too. But I also have um, some fake looking pearls that I bought for another project and I'm taking one and sticking it through the back side. So once that comes out, I'm gonna to have to push it through the rest of the way so that it pops through. Um, and this is the only way I could figure out how to do it so that it would stay. So here I'm just popping it through and then I'm gonna set it aside to dry while I build my angel. And I'm using some heavy gauge wire. I got this wire from Tractor Supply. You could also use this um, lightweight wire that I have, this paddle wire. Um, but I like the looks of this black wire. I think it was around eight, $8 and change for this at Tractor Supply. And it's in the fencing area. You could just buy a big roll of it for a little over $8 and uh, it goes it lasts a really long time and I really like it if I can find a link to it I will put it down in the description and I'll also put one for Amazon if they have it as well because I know some people like to shop Amazon more so I'll put a link in there as well anything you see me use here my molding clay my my molds uh, anything that I have I'll try to put that down in the description so if you want to recreate these you can go ahead and order those if I can find them so I'm just wrapping this around that clothespin and then cutting it off after I get enough so that it, I can use it to to hang make a hanger for the back now I wrapped mine around and then used it I wrapped it around a, a paintbrush and made some loops in the front you don't have to do that they kind of get covered up with the um, the moss that I'm going to put on the front but um, I just I just like the look of it so I thought it added a nice touch now I'm cutting a piece of ribbon you can use any kind of ribbon you want this is about a little over three inches long three and a quarter inches long and I'm folding it up and then folding it again so that I can cut the little V in the side. These are going to be the wings. So I wanted to make kind of like a little V um, for the sides of it. And you're going to flip it over, add the glue, and then I kind of scrunch it up a little bit, kind of fold it up and try to give it some dimension when you put it on the back. And then stick it in the glue and just, it's you know sticking it and holding it and then fluffing and making it look the way you want it to look and also making sure it stays scrunched and not burn your fingers which I did a lot making these <laughs> so there we go there's my angel wings that I made and again you could use any kind of ribbon that you want I like this lacy looking ribbon I thought it was very Kind of an angelic looking so we did that there it is okay 
So after I get the wings the way I want them, I take some of the moss and I'm going to ball it all up into a nice ball and glue it onto the front. And this is why you don't really have to make the squiggles in or the twists in your wire if you don't want to um, because it kind of covers it up a little bit. But if you didn't want to put the moss down, it would kind of look pretty neat with those little squiggles on there. So I did that and then now we can go ahead and now that that modeling clay has sat a little bit we can go ahead and stick that on. Now you can paint this clay if you want to. I didn't mind having it that color. The little the white and then the, the pearl in the middle. I think it came out so cute. Now of course you could add uh, again any kind of ribbon that you want and just keep embellishing and embellishing as much as you want. Now this next one is going to be pretty simple. I'm just cutting out of my twine, my jute twine, uh, I'm cutting a loop and I'm just going to glue it into the onto the back of the angel. And these loops are to hang it from a you know your Christmas tree or wherever you want to hang it. And then I had this black and white gingham ribbon that I really like for these projects. And I'm just cutting down the ribbon and cutting the, the tails the way I want them. When I figure it out. <laughs> and then we're just going to glue it onto the front. It's kind of a big bow, but I'm also going to put another bunch of moss on the front of that as you will see here. This isn't really I guess an angel um, but it could be as well. Um, it doesn't really have the wings it just has the bow on it but I thought it was really cute and I wanted to make something a little different so I came up with this one as well. And again taking a pearl and putting that in the middle of the moss just to dress it up a little bit and these don't have to be for a Christmas tree I think they could be for you know just to put on a hook or something to dress up uh, a room um, just give it a rustic feel now this um, little bunch of leaves so pretty it's white and it has like uh, sparklies on both sides and on one side it's really small sparklies on the other side they're bigger um, I think I got this from a Michaels uh, grab box grab bag box that I got last year I think or at least last uh, January February um, and I'll put a link to that down in the description to that haul that was really fun to unbox um, but I got that and I thought those would make really pretty wings for the angel um, because of the, the white and the really pretty sparkle that it had on the back. So I'm just going to glue that on there and I trimmed off the one end uh, with the stem that came out so it would match the other. It was just a tiny little clip and then it kind of matches both ends. And this little silver flower also came from a bunch of just like one big stem of flowers that I got. Kind of looks like silvery um, hydrangea stem. And again, using my pearl. For some reason I like my whites and my pearls for my angels. And I put the flower in the middle and then my little pearl. And I think that looks like a really pretty flashy little angel. Maybe not so rustic, but we're going to add a little bit of twine for the back for the hanger. And twine always makes everything look a little more rustic. We're going to put that on there and then that will be ready for the tree as well. have a 
bunch of wine corks and I thought I would dress those up as angels as well so I'm going to use these kind of iridescent sparkly leaves as wings on that and put that on the same way as I did the other just kind of glue the back and then glue it to the back of the wine cork I have my beads that I got from Amazon and I'll put a link down in the description for that as well and I'm going to use one of those as kind of the head for the angel and put it on there straight as I can and then I'm going to my twine because I'm going to add that to the back again for a hanger to be able to hang on the tree or wherever you'd like to hang it in the middle again I feel like between the twine and the moss it's just very rustic so that's what we're gonna do and again we're going to take the I'm just trimming that a little bit but again we're gonna take the uh, pearl and put that in the middle to just add to the, the angelic look of it for me anyway that's how I feel and then stick it right on there and then that's a super simple easy cute little ornament for your tree and then here they are on the tree Thanks for watching guys, please like, share and subscribe and have a great day.